Hi, this is Joanna from Relove Restore and I recently rescued this beautiful vintage vanity. Unfortunately, her finish was chipping and peeling off all over her, so I decided to send her down with my Surf Prep Sander 3x4 electric ray, starting with 80 grid to get a nice smooth surface area. I worked with the mirror on top of the vanity as it was permanently attached. To prepare the frame of the mirror for painting, I used a frog tape around the glass area and outside of the mirror. To paint the mirror frame and some parts of the vanity, I chose this pretty color by Mint by Michelle called My Frenchy Blue. Unless you're dealing with a bleeding wood, this paint is all in one, so you don't need to prime prior to painting. The coverage with this paint is fabulous and the drying time is fast enough so you don't have to wait long periods of time to apply a second coat. This paint also has a built-in finish. So if you choose to not to apply the finish coat, such as poly or wax, it is durable enough to last on its own. As you can see, I'm painting some parts of the vanity and leaving the rest natural wood. For the two bottom drawer fronts, I'm gonna use this beautiful lace tissue paper by Mint and her coordinating paint color in my Frenchy Blue. As you can see, the paper is beautiful and of high quality. And I just love how this color goes against the natural wood color. To adhere the tissue paper to the drawer fronts, I used decoupage gel by Prima in Mate. Prior to applying your decoupage onto the wood piece, it is always a good idea to first prime it to avoid the bleed through. I am ready now to put the lace decoupage paper onto the drawer fronts. I'm using Prima polishing pad to smooth out all the wrinkles. And now I'm using the blade to cut out the excess. I'm not particularly careful how I'm cutting the excess off. Uh, I like the distressed, worn look on this piece. Next, I'm using the same decoupage gel in Mate to seal the paper in. Since I want the decoupage to pop a little bit more, I decided to use clean sheets, mineral paint by Mint by Michelle, to paint over the existing design. I did the same thing on both sides of the piece.
Next, for the top drawer fronts, I decided to complement the decoupage with vintage wallpaper stamp from Redesign with Prima. For that, I used a roller with a little bit of clean sheets paint on top. Then I flipped the stamp onto the wood part of the piece and gently pressed it on with my hands onto the drawer front. And this is how it looks. After I decided to put the decoupage in the middle part of the vanity, I also added the vintage wallpaper stamp on each side of it. Using a roller and clean sheets mineral paint, I decided to go over the details. Since I was going for the aged look for this vanity, I decided to use dark wax and brown to put on the details and to dull the paint color a little bit. To apply, I used a wax brush to get into all those crevices and the details. I waxed over all of the painted areas. Then I used a soft cloth to wipe off the excess of brown wax everywhere. Last but not least, I used the Core Wax by Prima in bronze to go over those beautiful, unique, original pools to bring their shine back. And here it is again, the tired and worn before. And now the fabulous happy ever after. Links for all the products used in today's video you can find in my description. If you like this video, like and subscribe my channel for more. For more content, you can follow me on Facebook, Insta and TikTok at Free Love Restore. We'll see you there.